DPDHL is sending a consistent message with its investments. The company spent 123 million euros to upgrade its logistics center at the Cologne Bonn Airport, designing it around key strategic goals. What I love about this building is it actually shows um, the big mega trends which formed our strategy 2025, which was inaugurated in 2019 when this building opened. So, globalization, connecting the world. E-commerce, we have a lot of sortation facilities here for smaller e-commerce shipments. Sustainability, it's a very sustainable building with solar panels on the roof and everything and digitalization and well you can obviously see that it is quite automated. How did the team pitch this investment to you initially and how hard was it as a sell for them? How quickly did you turn around and say yes this is worth the 123 million euros? Of course you always have to make sure that you have the right capacity for the growth in the network and at that time they came and said hey we will really see a strong growth in e-commerce volumes on top of the regular b2b growth we need more sorting capacity we need this building and of course there are always debates does it really have to cost 123 million euros and so on but fortunately they convinced us because then with covid and the volume surge we urgently needed the capacity at the same time as covid accelerated demand for logistics services Disruptions in the labour supply hurt productivity. Advances in technology, like this digital sorter, have helped offset some pressures. But automation also raises questions. Does this tell us that as the business grows, this is going to become a more automated business, that there's going to be less need for labour, for workers? Well, you still see people here, and I think what you can nicely uh, uh, witness here is the combination of technology which supports people. So, for example, when you look at the customs area, it used to be a very manual and sometimes confusing process. Now the people are supported in picking the right shipments for customs inspections by light, and they are automatically sorted in this sorter to go to customs inspections. So it is also helping the people um, with the jobs they're doing here every day. We always said, you know, in 2019-20, you know, we might get one third less jobs in the current setup until 2030 if we digitalize the organization. But we are very sure that our company will be at least 50, maybe 100% bigger and we will have more jobs to offer than now. At the beginning of a couple of years ago when we started that journey, people said, oh, you know, I might lose my job. I haven't heard that in the last two years in, as a question in any town hall. This airport hub also showcases DPDHL's aviation fleet, which boasts more than 320 dedicated cargo aircraft. We own the biggest chunk of our aircraft, but we also have short and medium and long-term leases. And with the growth in our business, we anticipate that the uh, uh, fleet will keep growing. You've talked about investing, yes. of course, in, in sustainable fuel. Yes. When does, that, when does that come online? How significant is it? Is it just, the critics might say that's just window dressing around a part of the business that is, of course, very, very carbon intensive, at least yeah. a lot of emissions. Yeah, so the, you're absolutely right. The problem with our beautiful aircraft is the CO2 emissions. And um, when you look at our overall CO2 emissions, two thirds are from aviation. It is about flying these birds with more sustainable fuel. And we said that we are really willing to spend billions on it. Uh, we now really hope that we will see the uptick in supply over the next years.